Hey guys, Grassman here. Um, today we're doing the challenge of how far can you get using just the rider? Not the used rider, but the rider. So this is the second ship in the game. It's got, if we look here, 1.5 fire rate, 1 projectile speed, and only 2 space. It's pretty much useless, other than the, like, the used rider. It's only better than one ship. Uh, maybe two, sort of. But the transport has more space. So with just the rider, how far can we actually get? Well, first we have to design a build. So, probably based off, not, assuming we're going, like, challenge standard and we're not doing anything. So that's what we'll start with. We'll start with challenge mode and we'll see what happens. We'll do one add damage, one extra bullet, and it, I really don't think matters. AoE isn't necessarily helpful. AoE is sort of helpful. AoE can add multiple blocks to what you're hitting. So first off, we need to know the difference between um, square AoE and, and circular AoE. I don't actually know how much of a difference it plays. So let me quickly get rid of this and test the square. Because I believe I know what square does. Square is just going to do that. That's what rectangle AoE does. So let's test circle, because I'm not actually sure what circle does. So quickly to know, because we're so limited, what does circle do? The exact same thing, unless you have more of them, apparently. In which case, they're useless to us. So it doesn't matter which AoE we use. Probably safer to go square, just in case. Um, and after that, could be a damage, could be a pierce, could be an extra bullet, doesn't really matter. But square is going to add extra, so best we do this. And for at least the first level, best we add an extra bullet. So for level 0, we're just going to go like this, and we will wait. We'll wait until it all gets cleared. And here we are. There we go. So that's stage one. Uh, for stage... That's, that's stage zero. For stage one, these are tough blocks. This one we can just go through normally because it's a obstacle course one. So stage one, easy enough. Stage two. Also easy enough. This is just one showing that maps can be long. So stage two, also possible. And we're through. Stage 3. This one's another fly training one. Easy enough, as long as you don't suck. This one can actually be somewhat difficult. I have also chosen a um, harder path to go down, as there's only one of space. Obviously, in the other one, there's two of space. Um, uh, hang on. One of one space, and then the rest is just two space. There we go. Easy enough. Okay, four. Lines for everyone. Choose the weakest spot, and just pierce through here. And we're through. Easy enough. Stage five. Exact same as with everything we've had so far. So, Ryder, so far, has made us to... got through stage 5. Stage 6, another break in the wall. This one's harder. Higher health blocks, doesn't... Really, for this one, you need damage, but it doesn't matter, we can get through it anyway with what we have here. The extra bullet's enough. And again, this is with, like, the challenge mode stuff on, so we get... With the challenge thing, we get no, um, no captain bonus, no achievement bonus, no any sort of bonus at all. We only get what's on the ship. Let's get serious, is what we're called. So here, again, we have more... We have them getting stronger as you go further up. So I'm actually going to stay back for this one. Wait, are we to, we're talking about beating maps, right? Not clearing them? Why am I using AoE? I guess there is a difference between clearing and beating. I don't know why I decided to clear the first one. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I decided to clear the first one. That was a weird decision. Um, I think I am going to fail here as well. So, we'll just change this up. I don't know why I was using... I don't know why... I, we didn't really need that in the first place. We'll just use this, or we could use damage. Pierce and damage both kind of work the same here. It doesn't really matter which one you use. One's going to hit... Pierce through blocks. One's going to do more damage to blocks. It's almost the same. Here come the last ones. And we're through. So there is stage 7 down. So we're doing good so far. Stage 8 is another, uh... What about flying?
perfect. Siege 9, relaxing farm map. This is one of the first farm maps. Uh, this one's fairly easy, you can do it even at this stage. Normally you would have like a stronger ship and be using like AoE and stuff for it, but we're only trying to break through. So I'll bring you back when we're at the end. And we're out. Simple enough. Okay, stage 10, not so relaxing farm map. Here they have considerably more health. We're gonna have to take it very slowly. I'm not, this may be the point where we can't beat them anymore. They do have a lot more health here. And there's not much difference we can change. All we can really do is add projectile, add pierce, um, add damage. AoE is not going to help us. And the pierce, basically pierce and damage will just, we're either hitting two for like one damage, or we're hitting, we're hitting one for two damage. Both multiply to two, so obviously it's going to be the same thing. And so that's as far as we can go. We can change it to damage, it won't change anything. So you can be up to stage nine by using only rider. It's actually pretty impressive, up to stage nine. Granted, a lot of them were just fly training courses, and as you can see, we're losing ground here. We'll never actually be able to sustain this. You can see it takes three sh projectile shots to destroy a block, but we're, we're only shooting about two per block. So we're going to gradually lose. By, like, what? By half a block every time? One, and not even two. Yeah, so that's as far as you can go with the rider, assuming that thing is on. How far can you go with the rider with not without the challenge mode on? Well, let's figure it out. First off, we no longer need damage. Okay, so, yeah, first off, you can see we're obviously just, like, we can zoom through these because we have super high, like, bonus stat stuff. So even, like, at this point, like, these... What are these? This is the wrong stage. What, what are the fly train courses? We should be able to blast... We can even blast through these blocks at this point. So when not using bonus things, these levels are actually really easy. Um, they're also making us money, so that's good in the meantime. So, what do we want to change about our design? Well, we don't need the attack anymore. Now we probably want Pierce and Pierce and uh, an extra bullet. So continuing map 11, we can again blast right through these things. They pose no threat. And at this point, we're going to go on for a couple of levels without really anything stopping us. So, here's level... Here's the next level. Here's level 13. So 13 we of course can't clear, but we can still beat. 14. While we're just passing through these levels, I won't just like keep stop saying nothing and just talking about like saying the levels' names. Um, I'll talk about Hollow Knight. I beat more bosses on Radiant today. 15. I beat um, I beat Winged Nosk, Hive Knight, and Umu on Radiant. A very long farming level. Here's 16. You can see, even with the upgrades, we're able to destroy blue. Of course, we can get more upgrades still. I've got, like, a, um... I think I have two more upgrades I haven't actually got. Whoops. Apologies. Ah, uh, yeah, we already beat this one. So I beat another three bosses from Radiant, and I was practicing a couple other ones. I'm still struggling with Lost Kin and Hornet Sentinel. I'm able to... I'm not able to consistently do Lost Kin on Ascended. Um, uh, we broke through there. I just steered into a wall. Okay, it's getting laggy here. Oh my god, this is very laggy. Um, game? I might pause it until, like, the lag goes away. Okay, there we go. I am, um, and as someone suggested, they suggested starting to do editing my videos, and I think I might actually, I might actually start to do some of that. Um, obviously, like this, like this one, I'm just, like, cutting out, I'm pausing it for bad parts, and, like, I mean, some of this could certainly be cut out, but I don't think it needs to be for this one. But for other videos, yeah, I think I will start, like, cutting out things. That's it. Again, of course, there's a problem of, like, my phone can't really, like, handle all the extra space required, but I'll try for what I can. Here's the mighty core. We're still able to beat it up. So we we only could beat the first ten stages, zero through nine, with, um, unupgraded. Or un unevolved, whatever you call it. But here we're able to do a lot more. So with these boosts, we can actually get really far in. So I think at this point, I'm going to pause it until we hit a level where we can't do. So I'll test the next levels, and I'll show you when we can't do it. Here's the one-on-one level, one -on -one level in which we are actually able to also kill it. Don't even have to like, just go past it. 
10 on 1, um, this one might actually be harder. So this is about 10 levels after where we left off. And it looks like we're still going to be able to kill it. I have also considered something else about the first actual challenge, um, in the first place. And there we go. So, um, I'm going to just pause it again as we go. Um, but I think we might actually come back to that first challenge afterwards, because I, th I just thought of something. Okay, so 35 is giving me troubles. However, that is just because I'm bad at steering here. Realistically, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Come on. Whoop, and okay, we'll st we're still going after 35. Okay, turn turns out we're not going after 35. Uh, I found the one that's going to stop us, 36. Yeah, we're not getting through this. There's not that many blocks, but we can't break through enough. So that is where this ends, I think. However, there is something we have to go revise on the first challenge. Yeah, there we go. So we, so we got to, we beat the, we beat, we beat, we beat um up to nine and up to thirty-five, depending if we had the mo bonus mod on or not. However, there's one thing I forgot to realize: circular AOE and Pierce are actually going to combine in a better way. Where the one that's hit in front hits in front is also going to harm the thing behind, causing the pierce to go through easier. I don't think this will let us win because the level is just way too long, but it it was worth a try. Yeah, so it didn't actually add anything, but I think it got us further. And you can see everything's getting double hit from that. So that was a good try. Um, there's also the thing we can try of turn bonus mode off and then go back to 35. Uh, we were doing 35 anyway. So now with a new design of this, go 36. I don't think the AoE is, I don't think the AoE is going to make enough difference. But it is worth a try. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it for the video. Yeah, I think that's it. So I'll Sticking in the spirit of trying to edit videos now, I'll edit the numbers of where we got into the top there. Ta-da! I, I really hope that edit worked out well, because I just said ta-da to nothing. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that's the records of where you can get to with the rider. Um, ten on... Ten without bonuses, and thirty... You can get to, You can beat nine with bonuses, without bonuses, and thirty-five with bonuses. And, um, I believe there are a couple of bonuses I am missing. Technically, you can make the captain stronger. So I was using Uranus here. This was how strong he is, is rank 14. I also have all these captains maxed. So that little bit of damage will do, do a bit to it. Um, in terms of achievements, I've got most of the achievements, everything, other than the income there and the fire rate here. So if we look at this, we can see base damage 8, captain of rank ability, alliance damage, total damage, um... It's the wrong captain on, though. There's the actual captain rank ability. And you see all the other like, stat stuff here. So that should affect everything that's how strong it is. So theoretically, if you got the captain even stronger, he could go further and further. But um, my captain, at least, is able to go to 35. So I guess 35, sort of. But other than that, yeah, to 9 without nine without bonuses. So hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoy my content, be free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.